What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know. Big Flocko. Convicts reaction. Smashing and dashing and reacting. Hope everybody had a productive weekend. Here I am back at it, man, with a reaction. But before we get to it, man, please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support your boy. And hit that bell notification for future fire reactions. So, you had Lefty Gunplay. He responded to all the people who've been clapping at him, right? Everybody who's been taking shots, he finally reacted, man, to the uh, with a track called Blueprint. And this is one thing I gotta sit there and say, point blank. It doesn't matter whether the rap was tight, whether it was mixed right, whether it was too much uh, commotion and, and overdubs and ad-libs that were in the track right. None of that matters. What matters is his supporters. That dude has a gang of supporters that got his back. And it showed with that track right there. I read some of the comments. And no matter what I may think about his rap skills. The next man and whatnot. He got a supporter base that is there going to rock with him. 100% or 113%. So I'm going to basically react to this video three different ways, right? Let's get to the first one, which was his lyrics. You know, what was I thinking about it? It was alright, mediocre. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, his fan base is there. Uh, I think it was basically the beat that he chose. I think it was the wrong beat. And I think there was just too much overdubs, ad-libs and stuff, you know, in the background that wasn't mixed too well that just kind of drowned it out his vocals. So it was hard to sometimes hear what he was saying. When he called Lazy Boy Joe Dirt, I couldn't help but fucking laugh right there on the spot, right? You know, very original with that, right? But other than that, I mean, like I said, I think he had no choice but to respond back. Okay, but I think he should never been put in this situation from the get go. Should never open his mouth on no jumper in that interview talking about North Daniel Killer and this and that. Because it just opened the doors to continue to be attacked. And now what you got is basically war on fucking war in the rap game, basically. That has yet to translate to the streets. Or as we know it, translate to the streets. There was an upstate Sudan that got killed out there in uh, San Francisco, though. So that could just be the start of something that may be coming just based upon rap lyrics. Or podcast interviews because if you heard some of the diss tracks that have came out um Rico Too Smooth and a few others they've mentioned the interviews that Lefty Gunplay has done it's a lot of people feel a certain way about it right now let's get to the next part my reaction to now I'm past pretty much pointing who's to blame you know as in the initial stages I felt that you know Bozo and you know Lefty Gunplay were the ones that were instigators now with responses after responses right the North have now involved themselves in it just as much as they did. Sides were already chosen, right? But now lines have been established and lines have been crossed. So it kind of makes me wonder, right? This is something I don't think anybody like in prison, any leadership had any idea would turn into this, right? But it makes you wonder. Now, with a truce going on in prison, but people out here saying fuck a truce, it's just not a good look at times, right? That It's like, okay, we could be in there. We could be, uh, you know, having interactions. We could... Uh, you know, work out, spread, deal, whatever we're doing in there, right? But once we get to the streets, it has to be war. That's pretty much the message that's being sent by both the North and the South. And like I've said many times before, some of the first culprits in this, right? Man, they're like six, seven hours apart, man. Driving distance. It's very unlikely that you're going to run into these individuals maybe once a year, once every five years. So why do you have to have hate and have all these attacks and you know stuff that's really going to have more effects with the upstaters and the north daniels because they're right there front lines against each other and so it seems like i said before southern california the rappers down there man they're just talking shit for cloud chasing sometimes i feel right but the north has responded so it's kind of reverse cloud chasing if you really get what i'm getting at but we'll say this right you got to look at both sides north and south right the south have been kind of utilizing this as kind of like a motivation you know, to kind of be more united down south. Well, they've always been united, right? Once they started to, you know, represent that blue panel, right? But be more in unity, more solidarity. And that's the thing that I've seen that's came out of all this. The North has always had that unity, right? But now everybody else is starting to see it a lot more because they're actually reacting. Now, I said it before, they were only going to take so much until they decided to react. And now they're going in hard hard as fuck on on the south right now the south is responding just as hard man and you know i didn't know if lefty gunplay was going to even respond into his recent track i guess he had to sit there and stand on stand on his business you know what i mean so 
regardless if I like the dude, I don't like how he kind of initiated all this shit, right? But hey, he's standing where he stands, right? Now, third part, someone put, oh, so the North and South are back at war. Well, you can't ever say that there was a full-out truce or a peace treaty from the get-go. There's just been an agreement to end all hostilities. Which kind of means like there's like a, almost like a Cold War to a certain extent, right? That's being played out in the music industry. Which in some sense is right, what I'm seeing is kind of contrary to everything that the North Daniel movement is supposed to be about. You know, you're supposed to be about the betterment of the pe people. Pushing forward, leaving the old attitudes to the past, right? Changing ways. And what you're witnessing is, is individuals who've done some pinta time, right? Who are coming back, who are pretty much mocking that whole, you know, uh, ideology that's supposed to be set forth. And instead returning to their roots, which is gangbanging. Dope slanging, talking about it, being about it, you know, fought those killing threes, all that shit that comes with it. The one thing that the Northeast has tried to always separate themselves from the South was, oh, we don't come out of prison going back to gangbanging. But you got those that done pizza time that are stepping out that are showing different. At the end of the day, no one's breaking no truce or anything like that because this is the streets. It's just unfortunate though because there has been a lot of progress of, of what you would call communications and respects that were being built and established behind the wall if you were to take the upstate south sides out the equation right the only time north daniels or northerners and southerners had any type of interactions would have been in prison because it's so far away from each other on the streets but now with social media it brings everybody that much more closer right as far as geographical wise it doesn't matter that you're seven hours away i could take a shot at you from here Sitting at, sitting at home on my laptop or in the studio. I still feel the politics, right? Which, North Daniel, Sudaniel, those are based upon prison politics, man. That's who pretty much controls every aspect of the streets is the prison op organizations, period. So, to hear people come out here and just fucking brush all to the side while this is the streets, it makes me question a lot of things nowadays, right? Do these organizations no longer have that control over its foot soldiers? Now, I know the Southsiders were always given a lot more um, liberty and luxury to do as they do as long as they pay taxes if they're generating income. But the recent behavior from the North is something that I never thought I would see in social media. Doing interviews, doing rap songs, doing diss tracks, you know, to, to those that were active back in the days that I was around, that would be considered almost like cell soldier. I'm just keeping it 100. Not that it's not entertaining. Not that they don't got bars. It's just kind of like... It's kind of wasteless... Wasteless breath even discussing it. You know, that's just from my perspective of things. And I know things have changed. But they couldn't change that fucking much. But basically, we can now add social media warfare to new tactics of war. In any event, though, whatever is going to go on between North and South, behind the walls... It's going to be the powers that be that are going to make that decision. And it ain't going to be made by no social media, no rappers. None of us are going to have that much influence or impact that we can bring that change to where there's no longer peace. Out here on the streets, it's a whole different ballgame though. You know, a whole different ballgame. But like most social media platforms, it's not going to be the social media, you know, rappers or podcasters that are going to be responsible for anything that happens on the streets. It's going to be those that are really front line. Those that are in the trenches. Those that are in the shadows. Those that are ready to make a move without you even knowing it. It ain't going to be these guys though. I'll tell you that right now. And it just goes to show that all these relationships that are built in prison, right? They're all built under false pretenses. They're false friendships. You know, and that's why it's important, you know, whether you're on the streets or you're in prison. To always recognize those that are in the streets that are doing what they do. Those relationships could never be true. They're always going to be kind of shallow. Okay, they're never going to have any like true benefits that you can sit there and, you know, respect or admire the next individual. It's all pretty much fake. Everybody's out for their own, you know, like most things in life. And this new North Day suit beef, it's going to continue, I think, for a while, right? There's going to be shots being took, but for the most part, I don't see no war occurring in the streets or in prison based upon raps. A little bit different with the upstate North Daniels, but as far as the overall collective, I doubt it. With that said, it's your boy Flacco with Comics Reaction. I'm gone.